Sophie, I gave you more than one chance. I thought you were struggling to come to terms with your mother. But you were using her death as an excuse to push your luck. And that Sophie is sick. You're lazy, you're rude, you're self-centered, and you've used me. Your brother has used me. What about me? All I wanted was a little bit of time to come to terms with losing my wife. But oh no, you couldn't give me that. The minute she was gone, you'd started. And within a week, you pushed me to breaking point. You've let me down. And that is the worst thing. Because I didn't think you would do that, either of you. Yes? Dr. Shepard, listen very carefully. I have your children. Now, unless you agree to the terms of the contract you're about to be presented with, one of them will be killed. Do you understand? What? <laughs> My daughter is sat right here in front of me. Sophie, what's Peter? Listen, I don't have the time or the patience to deal with this sort of thing right now. So if you want to make a private appointment, I suggest you ring my office. What? Dr. Shepard, I am fully aware that your daughter is sat right in front of you. She's there because I want her to be. She's alive because I want her to be. She will now give you the terms of my contract. Sophie, where is Peter? He took us a week ago. It was right after the funeral. You were off somewhere. He fitted us with this microphone camera thing. And it means he can see what I see, he can hear what I hear. Peter too. He can see you right now. He let us go one at a time. Maybe for an hour, two hours. He'd send us back here or maybe to school. Sophie, what time do you call this? Hey? Sophie! Sophie, where has my little girl gone? All this sneaking around and bunking off school has got to stop. And he said that if we tried to get help, then the other would die. I've given you the benefit of the doubt, but now it's starting to wear thin. So get upstairs and get dressed now. And if we so much as looked at a pen or a phone or a computer, then the other would die. And if we tried to tell anyone, and the other would die. Where have you been? I don't know. I've done nothing wrong. And if you'd stop and look for one second, you'd see. You selfish little shit. But all you ever see is the bad. You fool. Please, please, Dad, look around you. He said you have to make a choice. Do you? Send me back alone to get Peter and risk us both being held to ransom. Do you keep me here safe? And Peter will die. You've got 15 minutes, Dad, and it takes me 10 to get there. What do you want me to do? Go. Go and get Peter now. She's on her way.
Hello. She just broke her arm for nothing. And uh, there's a lot of blood coming from her. Can't get a towel. Go inside and get a towel. There's a lot of blood coming from her head. Um, I don't know. 12, 13. 